Number six. A new practice setup. Cutting with the inside and outside of the same foot, followed by a push pass and a short sprint. The coach instructing from the middle of the action. Inside, outside, inside, outside. Pass and sprint. Number seven. Running with the ball using the outside of the foot. Short quick steps to increase repetitions and develop touch. It's not quite as simple as it looks. Trying to run naturally and keep a full view of the field without turning the knees or hips into the ball too much. It takes good ankle, knee and hip flexibility and some practice. Number eight. Toe tapping, pulling with the sole, taking with the inside and a quarter turn. As always, speed and control. There are countless variations and combinations of these footwork skills. Number nine. They are meant to be fun practices to inspire young players to practice by themselves at home and experiment, even innovate, with combinations of their own. The benefits may not be immediately apparent, but simple as these practices may look, they have potential far beyond the practice field. Number 10. Sole and inside of the foot, preceded by a step over. Number 11. Mastering the subtleties of ball control can be rewarding in itself and will pay rich dividends in the future.